In this tutorial video, we'll look at the try it functionality used to test API endpoints by using a couple of examples. We'll also look at how to generate code samples in various programming languages and how to view and track errors and warnings using logs. For this demonstration, we'll be using Document 360's public API hub to test the try it feature. First, let's see how we can input a simple get method to see how many project versions are present in our project and view the response using the try it function. The first step here once the API references have been imported and published is to provide an API token to authenticate the connection. Copy the key and paste it in the token field in the knowledge base site. The workspace can be expanded using these arrows which will give you more space to work with to input text and view responses. Now click try it to view the generated response which will display the list of project versions. For the second example, let's test a POST request to add a new reader to our project. Let's input the body of code for this request. Click Try It to execute the code and the new reader account will be added to the project. You can also view different payload variations for this endpoint by clicking on the Examples drop-down which will give you an idea about how to form your body data for a specific API endpoint to suit your needs. The automatically generated response schema can also be viewed under the response section by selecting it from the drop-down. The code sample section will provide a code snippet for your specific programming language used to call the API. Select the program of choice from this drop-down. This is a handy tool when you require a quick start as you can copy and paste the code and build the program further. Auditing the API references is possible using logs. In the API docs section in Document 360, select View Logs. This will give you information about who created this API reference and when. You can also view any errors or warnings. The export to CSV function is a useful tool to share this data with your developers who can then examine any problems and rectify them. If any of the API references have been synced or updated, it will show up in the log details as well. In conclusion, the API docs feature in Document 360 is packed with all you need to develop your API documentation that will enable developers and partners to work more effectively with your product or platform. A well-designed API documentation strategy can improve the experience for developers using your API, which has a direct correlation on API adoption.